Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the WRC EA Sports WRC is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing stuttering lagging low FPS drop stuck on loading screen and even black screen issue which is happening for many of these users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about when you're having this trouble we have to do a complete restart so just go over here in the uh, start icon go to the power icon over here and go for a restart once the restart is done just try launch the game and that will be working fine and this is what we have to do as the first and foremost step next one after trying with this if the issue is still there we have to try the next one that is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder so sometimes we launch the game from here so that is why we are having the crashing issue so we need to launch the game from the installation folder for this reason what we need to do is we just need to instead of going over here we have to navigate to the installation folder we have two methods one we have a shortcut from the steam right click over here and go to the properties go to install it file and just click on the browse so that will take you to the installation folder over here and if you check at the top there is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam amps common ea sports wrc right now open wrc now go for binaries go for win64 navigate to wrc so launch the game from here this will be working in most cases because for many users this is working so we have to try this over as well what after this if still if you're having the trouble we have two step that we have to run the game as an administrator and also we have to what we need to do is we need to uh, run the game in the compatibility mode so what we need to do is we just need to right click over here go to show more options we have to go to the properties go for compatibility click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok this is what we have to do next one after trying with the run as administrator if you're still having the trouble you can also try run the game go over here show more options go to the properties compatibility click on run this program in the compatibility mode and you have to set this to windows 7 as the first one go for apply and go for ok and we have to set this to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok as well once you set this up once everything is done just close this and we have to close this as well and we have to go back try launch the game so this can be done even if you're having the trouble the next one is all about we have to launch the game i mean you have to hit the play button and you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this worked for many users you can try this just press alt and tab from the keyboard and that will be working fine next one we have to make sure the date time and region is correct so just go over here in the search we have to navigate to settings go for time and language go for date and time make sure all these things are turned on we have to make sure the time zone and time zone automatically should be turned on and this should be turned on as well this is very important and we have to go back go to language and region now from here we have to set the language that means we have to set the country so we have to select the united states if it is united states if you are from united kingdom you have to select united kingdom so just set everything fine you have to do it according to your configuration i mean you have to do it according to geography once afterwards just close this and we have to go back and we have to try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to delete the saved game file so just go over here in the file explorer and we have to go to this pc go to the documents and from here if you find the folder or if you find the folder just delete the folder and also we have to get into the game and also here if you are finding the folder wrc folder just delete it keep in mind when you do this you will be losing all the provisions of the game that is what we have to do and once you do this delete everything and once afterwards close this and we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to windows security for this reason we have to go over here in the search we have to navigate to the control panel now from here we have to go to system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow nampur feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and navigate to wrc so keep scrolling down and navigate to wrc so we have to go over here and now from here as you can see if you find the folder somewhere else here you will be able to find the folder so uh, you know uh, the wrc 
will be here somewhere else i think we have to keep scrolling down a little bit okay so the w bars rc is already added make sure both the private and public both has to be uh, in a both has to be selected right which is have to be marked so this is what we have to do but in some cases the game will not be here if that is the case we have to add the game by default just click on the chain setting go for allow another app go for browse now go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down navigate to steam and we have to go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to navigate to uh, you know we have to navigate to wrc so just scroll down ea sports wrc select this one go for content sorry not this one binaries select this one and we have to add it so once we add it we have to keep in mind when you do this you will be losing all the progressions of the game so just close this and we have to go back and we have to try launch the game and that is what we have to do next one is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with multiple monitors we might be connected with uh, you know multiple controllers we might be connected with multiple joystick and all these might be the reason so we just need to unplug everything and once the game is successfully launched just connect it back and try launch the game and that will be working fine next one is all about we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search we have to navigate to system configuration or search for system configuration go to services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay just go for restart once the restart is done just try launch the game and that will be working fine next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, close uh, all the overlay application which is very important so just go over here in the start right click and navigate to task manager right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so all these are one of the reason why we are having the crashing issue because when we are running the game at the same time if many things are running in the background for example discord reward tuner msa afterburner when all these things are running in the background these things will be having the crashing issue so we need to make sure that uh, you know the overlay and overclocking application should be removed from here once afterwards try go back to the steam and launch the game we can also try disabling the steam overlay if it is enabled just right click go to the properties make sure if it is enabled we have to disable this and once you disable this try launch the game and that will be working fine we can also try uh, giving the commands in the launch option which worked for many users in for the many other game just go over here right click go to the properties now from here as i have given the command i'll be showing you once again first start with dx11 so start with dx11 dx11 will be working if dx11 is not working try with dx12 you can also try with dx12 and that will be also working so either the dx11 will be working or we have to try with dx12 so any one of the things will be working and you can try this out next one is all about nothing but we have to try that is all about we have to try you know we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card which is a very important step so just go over here in the search and search for graphics settings now we need to add the game so i'll be showing you how to add just click on the browse so just go to the local to see or where the game is installed go to local to see program file x86 keep scrolling down navigate to steam we have to navigate to steam apps go to common now from here we have to navigate to ea sports wrc go to wrc go for binaries go for win64 select this one and go for add so once you add the game you have to set this so let me go over here so just let us find where the game is added so here the game is added okay i have already added the game that is why i'm doing this just go to the option by default this would be let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once you save this just close everything go back try launch the game and that will be working fine next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory just go over here in the search navigate to view advanced system setting go for advanced tab settings once again advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and select where the game is installed go for custom size go for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here and navigate to the calculator just type your ram 32 gb is your ram just type 32 gb multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 is the maximum size so just copy this and we have to paste it next one is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 not 3 we have to do like this let me do 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that is 14 and 152 
okay so we'll copy this and we have to paste it once every value is being set we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one we need to update the windows just go over here in the search we have to navigate to settings now from here go to windows update now from here we have to update the windows and once you update the windows we have to make sure the windows is on the latest version and from here we have to update the windows and once afterwards just go back and try launch the game we can also try updating the graphics card which i'll be giving in the description so uh, i'll be providing both the nvidia and uh, amd so the nvidia users has to go over here and select everything like your product type if the product series should be selected according to your configuration so mine is uh, 14 series so i have to select this and you have to select if the nvidia g force rtx you have to set windows 11 and go for start search now once you go for start search you have to go over here and the driver version is 546.0.1 and the released version is on november 1 2023 which is very recently so download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game if you're on the amd just select every details over here and we have to go for submit and if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game and also you can try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus you can keep scrolling down if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game so last two steps can be done one among them is we have to uninstall the game and we have to reinstalling it back so just go over here go to manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you have to installing it back not on the same local disk from which you uninstall you have to try a new local disk that can be done and another one is we have to verify integrity of game file so just go over here right click go to the properties install it file just click on the verify integrity of game file so this will cross check every single files of a game and if, if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing that is why we are having this issue those issues will be completely fixed so it is going to take a little bit of time because the game is around 84.28 gb so we have to wait the storage 100 percentage once after once afterwards I'll be showing you what we have to do next.
So once all the files are successfully validated, just close everything, try launch the game. So these possible workarounds can help you guys out when you're having the issue. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.